All right, for example A, we need to find the slant height of this square pyramid here. Now the slant height is that uh, unit that was labeled L in our uh, our discussion earlier, and it's this this dashed or this dotted line out here that runs down the side of the pyramid. And what we what we need to do to find that measurement is recognize that we can form a triangle right up to the center of that pyramid. Um, I'm going to sort of draw this from another point of view. I want to draw our triangle um, looking at this face here. So if we take a look at our pyramid from that face straight on looks a little like this. This is 16 units this way, and then it's 24 units this way, up and down. What we're looking for is this dimension here. But you can see that now this is the long side of a triangle, right? We have our 16 units all the way across, but that means we're 8 units from here to here. So that could be our side A for our triangle. 24 units here could be our side B, and then we could use the Pythagorean theorem to find out side C, right? So let's make a little space, and we'll run that through a Pythagorean theorem. And we'll have 8 squared plus 24 squared equals C squared, or our slant height squared. So 8 squared plus 24 squared, that's 64 plus, oh geez, I don't know what 24 squared is. 24 times 24 equals 50, 576 plus 64. So that's 640. So that gives us 640 equals c squared. And then we just need to take the square root of both of those. And the square root of 640, 640 square root about 25.3 or so. So 25.3 is approximately equal to C. So our distance down here, 25.3 units, give or take. So. All right, for example B, we need to find the surface area of the same pyramid. So this time we're going to be finding the area of the square base across the bottom, and then the area of each of the four triangles. Now, the important thing to note here is that each of the four triangular faces looks a little like this. It's going to be 16 units across the bottom, because that's this base right here, right? Down here. But up the side isn't going to be 24. 24 is from the center inside the, the uh, pyramid up to the peak of the pyramid. The height of each of these triangles here coming up this direction Let's move up here and see if we can see that line a little better. Yeah, the height coming up the face of the triangle this way is actually that lateral height that we calculated before, that 25.3. So this distance here up our, for each of our faces is 25.3. So finding the area of the base is easy. It's just 16 squared. 16 squared, or 256 square units. Then what we need to do is add each of the four faces, so they're all going to be the same, so it'll be four times, and then we're going to find the area of each of these triangles. Remember the area of a triangle, area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we're going to take half of the base, that's half of 16 is 8, times 25.3. So 8 times 25.3. So each of those faces is going to be 8 times 25.3, and then there's 4 of those. So we're going to multiply that answer by 4. So let's just run this through our calculator here. We have, clear, we have 8 times 25.3. So each of our triangular faces is going to have an area of 202.4 units. And we have 4 of those, so we're going to multiply that by 4. So that gives us 809.6. So let's go ahead and write that in. So this is plus 809.6. And that means that our total area then, plus 256, is going to be 1,065 and a half. 1065.6 or so square units. Cool? All right, let's take a look at example C. Example C says find the volume of the pyramid. So we need to use our volume formula. And our volume is one-third 
the area of the base times the height, one third the area of the base times the height. And you may have recalled that I pointed out that it's kind of nice to be able to sort of mix that around a little bit depending on what thing is going to be easiest to divide by a third. And yeah, we're going to use that right now. The area of the base is easy. It's 12 times 12. It's a square base. So our area of our base is 12 times 12 or 144. And what we need to do is multiply that by a third and then by the height. Well, a third of the height is just a third of 12. And 12 divides evenly by 3, so that's easy. It's going to be 4. So this part here, a third of the height is 4. So now we just need to take 144 times 4. We'll run that through our calculator. 144 4 times 4 equals 576. So 576 cubic units is going to be the volume of our pyramid. So that was actually probably the easiest one of the bunch, actually. There we go. All done.